one of the most well-attested facts in all of history is Jesus died and rose again. Even unbelievers have had a hard time disputing the evidence there is for this event in history. So what makes the gospel, well, the gospel? Six letters answer this question. They are F-O-R-Y-O-U. For you. See, Jesus wasn't bored one day, and so up in heaven he said, Hey, Dad, how about I do something about those miserable sinners down there on that planet called Earth? Tell you what, I'm going to become a human in some virgin's belly, live in abject poverty for about 30 years, then recruit a bunch of the nobodies to follow me around for another three years, and finally, when it gets too unbearable to be with them, I'm going to have one of those followers betray me, get pummeled nearly to death, and then die a horrible, torturous death on a cross so that they have something to hang around their necks. Then a couple days later, I'll show up alive again just to really start to mess with their heads and finally come back up here so that they wonder about it all. Now, there is a reason for creation and redemption beyond Jesus was born in heaven. St. John explains it this way. For in this way, God loved the world, so that he gave his only begotten Son in order that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. It's from the Father, through the Son, by the Holy Spirit, for you. Everything Jesus did, he did for you. He didn't need to do this for his own entertainment. His love for you compelled him to create this world, to promise that one day he would be born of a virgin, suffer under Pontius Pilate, be crucified and die to forgive and save you, and be buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the Holy Scriptures, appeared to Peter and the twelve and over 500 witnesses, and then ascended back to God's right hand to prepare a place for you. One day, he's coming back for you. One day, your grave is going to be as empty as his, because he's done this all for you. And to ensure that you believe this, Jesus has given you a bunch of gifts, the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Spirit, Holy Baptism, Holy Absolution, Holy Communion, sermons, your pastor, catechesis class, all for you, so that you believe that he has loved you with an everlasting love and has forgiven you all your sins. Six letters. F-O-R-Y-O-U. That changes your history and your eternity. Jesus for you. Join me in these videos over the next several weeks as we unpack those six letters that make the Christian faith clear. Jesus died and rose for a reason, and that reason is for you. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.